It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged. And in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. A lot has been going on with things of that nature. And we got to talk about it. Things of that nature continues to think that he can manipulate and lie to the public with all of this evidence we have so let's really get into it don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that i upload omfg reality tv posted a clip to their instagram page of mel and her lawyer and i discussed this clip in one of my videos as well yesterday it looks like before the show aired walkie talkie hopped in the comments to i guess bicker with some of the women in the comment section who really knows but he said well court is over hello miss rogers a lot of you women just love leaving irrational comments clearly this has nothing to do with me trying to control her nor the situation stop running with everything so again where you hoes at that was in the comments making it seem as though her not being taken to court for full custody of her children isn't a story storyline in a real storyline that needs to be talked about so again walkie talkie in my opinion thought that they were going to change the narrative for him as they've been doing in my opinion production always sway the situation to look like it's in walkie talkie's favor luckily they showed the whole scene and didn't make it seem like Mel was just making stuff up now we know walkie talkie went around all on youtube to throw out these court documents on his side only but we also know that some people were man enough or real enough to show us the other side of the um, court documents where he was asking for all of these extra things in the court paperwork like he wanted his lawyer to get me to know male romance history and anybody that she's been with since they had been divorced he wanted all her passwords to everything and you guys know I made a video and I had a whole spiel about it because I thought it was very trifling and disgusting that these are even things that he's inquiring about so with that being said where y'all hoes at where where are y'all hoes? Because y'all were the same people, just like Belinda and Sheree. Don't ever get it twisted. Please do not think I'm off, off of Sheree because I'm not. But all of these women have put themselves in his proximity. And I just want to know, as black women with children, why do you think that's okay? But at the end of the day, they're going to get what they deserve associating with a man like this, being a black woman. Like, that's just my opinion. One thing that I've learned, you never go up against divine feminine energy, period. So yeah, he was in the comments doing what he do. But it's been a lot of chat on YouTube about him messing with one of Belinda's closest friends. Now, Queen Sheba dropped this tea and it was so juicy. Y'all got to go check out her video. But she left us with the cliffhanger and some of us kind of nosy. I had to go find it. Some of y'all had to go find her as well. But allegedly, this is walkie talkie messing around with one of Belinda's friends on the side. It's just a lot going on. But realistically, in my opinion, Belinda might really be off the market. Belinda might be be one of walkie talkies friends in real life because the, i don't know if y'all know this but belinda is always with that bald-headed tall girl with the curly hair and in my opinion it ain't for no reason so here's the gag all these thirsty women are associated with the man that will take his ex-wife to court for full custody of her children after he cheated on her for five plus years and made a baby on her not only that they're associating with the man that tried to put out revenge pee on his ex-wife that did nothing to him but left him to the slaw that he had been begging for i mean just look at you one thing that i do know when you associate with a narcissist they'll embarrass you all the time but this is not why we're here today actually we're here because it's been alleged that walkie talkie and belinda had went out and left the kids to belinda's nanny this is why walkie talkie wanted nanny so bad and he wants it to come out of Mel's pocket because i'm pretty sure belinda paid for her nanny and he didn't contribute but allegedly they went out left the kids to the nanny now this wouldn't really be a big deal but this is a big deal because this is a man that had taken his ex-wife to court for full custody of her children because he said that she had 20 something babysitters but the only babysitters he was ever able to name was 
was her mother, her brother, and his cousin. And we all know he got a long list of criminals in his family, so we know why he would be concerned as to why his cousin would be watching the kids. He also said he wanted first right of refusal and all of this nonsense. Just to turn around and let us know that Belinda had watched his children before. Now, I posted that in my other videos, but he revealed this on Queen Sheba's interview that she had with him. And one of his biggest issues was allowing a man to watch his children. Now, it's funny because it's alleged that Belinda Nanny is a gay male. Ironic, right? Let's look. And before we even get into it, shout out to Money Making Melody fan page. I re This is one of my favorite Melody fan pages. And she had to change her name. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but they had to change their name to Money Making Melody fan page because I'm sure some of you dumbasses thought money making melody was mel's real page and y'all out here is walking around carrying news talking about oh mel posted this mel posted that it, it, oh my gosh Di i digress shout out to money making melody fan page now yo i, I, I wish you was down there i wish you, it was like it was like boss baby you know how like they act all nice and kind but when the parents leave they just Yo, I promise you, I wish he was down there. I wish it was like, it was like, you know how like, they act it out nice and kind, but when the parents leave, they just and so, okay, sir, that's cool. But which boss baby are we talking about now? Are we talking about the Netflix film boss baby? Or are we talking about the original boss baby boss baby? Because I genuinely don't believe in coincidences. And that's just my opinion. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what you think. But here's what Belinda had to say. She asked the person, why am I being tagged in this? The person said, can you confirm if that's your friend in the video? He, She then said, I'll check. That person says, thank you. Then Belinda says, that's my production assistant. He was referring to my daughter Miracle as boss baby, not anyone else. This was after a photo shoot with my girls. Now, love, are you trying to tell me that it's two boss babies in the family? That's a big coincidence to be fair, but I think that it took you time to come up with that. Realistically, are you trying it see now are you trying to say that he was seeing that your daughter Miracle was off acting like the boss baby on the TV show or was she acting like boss baby the original Eminem boss baby? Do you get what I'm saying? It's just a lot of confusion. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what you think about all of this. I am very much confused as to why and how it's all these coincidences yeah it's just entertainment purpose oh it's not it's entertainment purpose oh it's not in the case of anybody it's just entertainment purpose oh it's not in